This is a rendering of a human sacrifice being conducted by a 15th century Aztec priest. And if you're wondering whether the heart was still beating when they yanked it out of the victim's chest, the answer is yes. I wouldn't want to be the victim of a priest who was just learning how to do this, because I'm sure it took an awful long time for that person to die. But once the priest got pretty good, I imagine they probably went in and got the heart out in 30 seconds. Aztec culture involved human sacrifice. Evidence indicates the Aztecs may have been murdering as many as 20,000 victims a year. I think the Aztecs had a terrific understanding of human anatomy. When they decided to sacrifice their victims, they knew it was going to be a lot easier to get into the chest cavity by making a hole in the abdominal wall and getting at the heart than trying to get through the breastplate, the sternum, and the ribs, which were very difficult to saw through. The victims were held down by four people, and the priest would take a knife, while the victim was still alive, plunge it right into the abdomen, rip open the abdomen with the knife. They made a hole big enough to get their arm in, put their arm in, pierce through the diaphragm, pushing their hand up into the chest. And the heart is the only thing in the chest that's going to be going like this, you know, and beating. It feels different than the surrounding tissue. The average adult human's heart is around the size of a small grapefruit and pretty much weighs around the same and has that kind of feel in your hand. So the priest would reach around until he felt the beating heart, grab onto it, and then just pull for all he was worth until he yanked it off its attachments. I have no doubt that the victim felt the priest's hand in his abdomen and the hand ripping through the diaphragm, which was, I am sure, exquisitely painful. And I have no doubt that the victim felt his heart being ripped from its attachments. But at that time, the victim would lose consciousness. The reason is, as the heart was being compromised, blood flow to the brain would stop. The brain just doesn't have the capacity to maintain consciousness without that blood flow. Most people think that if you pulled somebody's heart out of their body, that it wouldn't still be beating, but in fact, it absolutely would. The heart has what's called inherent rhythmicity, meaning that the muscle cells of the heart beat on their own and don't require input from the brain to beat. So if you get a heart out of a human body quickly enough, say within a few seconds, it absolutely will still be beating when you're holding it. 